Hi y'all, in this video, I'm going to share you guys solution to fix rendering issue in DaVinci Resolve. As you know, there are a lot of reason so that you face this rendering issue. But by following this guide, you can fix about 92-95% of these rendering issues that you face. The limitation of this solution is that it is little bit more time consuming process than just simply rendering out the project and the second problem is that it will consume more of your internal data or the storage space it will consume about double or triple the size of your final completed output file so these are the two limitations of this simple solution and the solution that we are going to try to fix this Rendering issue is the render in place option in DaVinci Resolve. It is a new type of rendering in DaVinci Resolve 17 which will help you to render out the clips from the timeline itself. And to follow this render in place option, first of all on your timeline if you got multiple clips on your timeline that is layered over one another then you want to create a compound clip of all that clip into a single one and the second thing is that adopt your project settings timeline resolution and make sure that timeline resolution matches the resolution that you are going to out the project with and the third thing is that just follow this step only to the clip that you are facing issues and also to the clip that you think got more complex functions like more complex color nodes as well as more complex fusion nodes as it will help to fix the rendering issue and also do this to the clip that are facing the issues with so on a timeline select the clip that are facing the issues with right click the clip then choose render in place and on the render in place dialog box that you are seeing change the settings to the settings that you are using on the deliver page so make sure that both the settings are same so after changing the settings just press ok and select the folder where you want to render out that particular clip after that it's going to render out the clip and it is going to replace the clip with the new clip on the timeline so do this to all other clips that are facing the issues or you can do this to your entire timeline and the thing to notice that if your timeline is more complex just don't select all the clip at the same time and choose render in place option because sometimes you will face the issues again on my case when i choose all the clip and choose this render in place option my system just turned off itself just like when i use the deliver page so if you are facing issues like that then you may want to select individual clip then you want to use the render in place option or otherwise you can just completely select all the clip and choose render in place option and you can follow this guide and another thing is that all the time that you wasted on the individual clip can be saved on the deliver page as all the clip is completely rendered out so the final render will be very fast so that's it that's all about this simple video guys simple video to fix the rendering issue that you are facing on damage here is all i hope you guys find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe